everyone, it's Kate here on Sunday, January 29th, and a very similar day to what we saw yesterday. We started off with sunshine, mild temperatures, not as warm as it was yesterday, but we did get up to 37 degrees today, so that's not too bad. We're still, that's almost 10 degrees above average for this time of the year, and the clouds are rolling in ahead of our next clipper. This one a tad stronger than yesterday. Yesterday we only got about a coating of snow and sunspots, maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe in those higher elevations, places that got a little bit more snow. For tonight, well, we are expecting a little bit more. And when I mean a little bit, I mean a little bit, like that much. Really areas, especially down here in Binghamton, anywhere from one to two inches, maybe those higher elevations, locations that typically get a little bit more snow, maybe up to three inches. But uh, with these clipper systems, my rule of thumb is, don't trust a clipper. You really can't trust, especially strong clippers like this one. They can dump anywhere from one to three inches. And that's pretty much what we will see in this clipper. Because it's so strong, it's gonna be pretty quick as well. When we do see the snow, I think, well, we do have a snow squall just off to the west. I'll show you here on the radar. So we have, this is current as of 5.30. You can see the stronger snow squall just off in western New York right there. Well, that I do expect for us for it to reach us about 8.30 tonight. Um, areas like Elmira and all that, they could see it at 8, 8.30 about for us, and then an area towards uh, Windsor and Delaware County about 9 o'clock there. Now, it's going to be a very fast mover, and when it does come, it's going to dump very quickly a lot of snow, and it's going to be pretty heavy as well about one to two inches within that hour two hour time frame and then it should be clearing out of here but there is some lake effect behind it but that will be mostly up to our north and those lake effect prone areas like up near Syracuse and all that so some of those flurries may be scattering around tomorrow morning and tomorrow looks pretty good we have a warm front that will lift up to our north giving us more mild temperatures temperatures back up to the 40s on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday is Groundhog Day. And I don't think, uh, what's it, Patoxy? I can never say his name right. The, the Groundhog. I don't think he's going to see a shadow, and I can never remember what that means. Six more weeks of winter, six weeks till spring, and all evens out the same. We've been seeing more spring like weather than winter weather, anyways. But who knows? Maybe that will change everything. We still have two more months of winter. So enough about weather, um, just sharing a little bit of my personal life, I guess you could say. Tonight is the Royal Rumble for the WWE. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that, right? Yeah, I'm actually a little bit of a wrestling fan. I, my grandfather got me hooked on it when I was about 10 years old and been off and on since, but I've been more into it lately. And for any of you who are interested and in will be watching the pay-per-view tonight, here's my pick for the final four. I say Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, Wade Barrett, and there was a, what was my fourth one? I was debating between Seamus, but I think if there was a top five, it would be Seamus. I think Randy Orton will win. I think it'll be between Randy Orton and Chris Jericho. Hopefully Chris Jericho will finally do something. That's all he's been doing is just running around looking like an idiot. But that's what he's trying to do, I guess, trying to be a heel maybe. You know, so what did I say? Randy Orton, oh, John Cena, that's what I forgot. Randy Orton, John Cena, Chris Jericho, Wade Barrett. Those are my top four for the last of the Royal Rumble, and I think CF Punk will win against Dolph Ziggler, and I think Kane will win over John Cena. So that's my little bit nerdy wrestling thing there. I'll, I'll find out after work tonight when I get back home. There's uh, a couple of people over my house coming over tonight watching that, so I'll catch the tail end of all that. Everyone's already going to start without me, but that's okay. So, all right, um, hope you guys have fun tonight, and be safe, because with the snow, it will be, it'll make travel very hazardous, um, with those blinding snow, the snow will make visibilities very, very low, down to maybe like a quarter mile, even if that, uh, the roads will be very slippery, so you do have to be careful of that, and make sure you tune in tonight at 10, and I'll have your full forecast. All right, see you guys later, bye.